We don't have a statement yet from the Barclays Bank, but I've spoken to um, officials from the bank, and they say they will be releasing over the same. You know how much has actually uh, been stolen over the theft incident that was at uh, the Mata Hospital, uh, the ATM at uh, the Mata Hospital, and uh, when I actually go to the ATM, um, I mean the. The inside and really actually look at the CCTV, which is inside. Talked to the security guards um, around Mata Hospital, and they said uh, the fact that, that is beyond them. But they said, as of this, officers and also a team from uh, the. the Uh, which is at Ibiru. Uh, the, the ATM is just inside, so anyone can access it. Uh, but there was a CCTV camera, which was um, not far from that place. Whether it's working or not, I cannot verify, but there was also one customer who, who attempted uh, to use the services, but uh, the screens were not responding, so he just uh, actually left once he saw that, you know, it was not responding or it was not working. Then also from uh, the Kenyatta National Hospital, when I arrived there, was, um, a G4, uh, there was a G4S vehicle. There was also quite a number of, uh, there, there were a few police officers, two uh, police vans which were parked outside the ATM machine. And when I tried inquiring from uh, an official who said it was from Barclays Bank and one from G4S, they said that uh, the ATM machine was undergoing maintenance. So uh, they said that uh, once the police had done their investigations, and right now what was going on was for them to try and see uh, how they can uh, how they can restore the services at that place. But uh, he could not say exactly when the incident happened or when the theft cases uh, happened. But that is so far the kind of, of information I have concerning the amount that was uh, stolen from these three ATMs. I can't verify the exact amount, but uh, the fact that I spoke to you. Barclays officials we are waiting to get to know exactly how much was stolen from the CATM machine. Great. Certainly, B. And before I let you go, I know you've told us that investigations are already ongoing, and you did say that security guards that you spoke to at the Mata Hospital say it act it's actually beyond them. But uh, reports we have are that the Kilimani police boss has, uh, had earlier on said that no arrests have been made so far. We also understand that officials of logistics companies handling the ATMs have been summoned for questioning. But what more do we know in terms of the investigations, B? Well, as of now, Grace has told cool. the information is still scanty. So hopefully once we get the information from uh, the Barclays side, we will get to know more about this case, uh, given that uh, from, all the, um, the, the, from all the ATM machines, let me talk about the one at matter where uh, the security uh, the security teams uh, there said they are not aware of any of those incidents. They just woke up this morning and what they saw was that there were police officers and guards from uh, the G4S security team there. And what they told them is that uh, they should not allow anyone to access that ATM machine or even use it. So as we actually went there, we went with a lot of caution because uh, they said we could not take any pictures. All we had uh, was just to just ask them. And they were also quite mean with the kind of information uh, they had. As for the one at uh, as for the one at Mukindwa, uh, there were no guards outside there. So I presume investigations of that are still ongoing. Also, from uh, the one at KNH, the fact that there were police officers and g force and one of them actually mentioned that investigations were done, and right now what they were doing was to carry out maintenance activities so that the ATMs can continue working. So that means investigations are ongoing, and uh, the people who are responsible for this theft have not yet uh, been caught. If we could go by some of the media reports, especially the digital reports that we are currently seeing, and uh, what we are waiting for is now the side of Barclays because we've heard from the security, uh, the security forces. So what we are waiting is for now Barclays to also give us uh, their side of the story. Certainly, B. Thank you so much, and of course, you will be following uh, that up on our behalf. Our reporter there, Caroline B.